state level science now uh, while we are doing our normal lessons let us do some revision uh, videos also now from this uh, revision video one uh, let us revise about let us revise about the force now what is the si or international unit of force can you remember what is the si unit of force actually it is the newton a force of one newton can be defined as the force the force required to produce an acceleration of 1 meter per second per second on the body of mass 1 kg to produce this acceleration 1 meter per second per second on the body of mass 1 kg so you need a force of 1 newton for this that is newton is the force by which uh, or newton is the force required to produce an acceleration of 1 meter per second per second on the body of mass 1 kg is 1 newton now say if the mass is 5 kg then you need 5 times actually force should be 5 times then then to produce an acceleration of 1 meter per second per second on the body of mass 5 kg is 5 newtons now uh, what should be the value of force or magnitude of force if the acceleration say is 2 meters per second per second now this changes to produce an acceleration of 2 meters per second per second on the body of 5 kg on the body of 5 kilograms is 10 newtons if the mass is 15 and acceleration is 4 then this is 60 now this shows that by multiplying the value of the mass by the value of the acceleration so you will get the required force this is mass or m this is a when you multiply mass by acceleration so actually you get the force force is equal to m a f equals m a so actually you obtain uh, you have done newton second law no so this is actually from that law newton second law f equals m a now you know that weight is also weight is also a force weight means the force uh, by which uh, a body is attracted to the earth is the weight of that weight of that body on the earth now now say say uh, mass of this body is say 1 kilogram when the body falls down freely when the body is falling down freely acceleration it acquires is 10 meters per second per second this is due to the force of gravity force of gravity of earth 
if it is on the moon one acceleration of uh, the acceleration gravity will be one is actually one sixth of this right. now on the earth weight of weight of this body actually of which the mass is one kilogram weight is 10 newtons that is a force of 10 newtons is required uh, to attract this body to the earth. This body is this body is attracted to the earth by this force of 10 newtons. Now if the mass of the body is say 5 kilograms then it will change. If the mass of the body say is 5 kilograms g o acceleration of gravity is 10 meters per second per second then weight is equal to weight is equal to 50 newtons. Now you know that force is equal to m multiplied by a. Now here instead of a so you have a constant acceleration so that is actually due to gravity therefore f media f means weight weight is equal to mg w equals mg right now weight of a body can be calculated by multiplying its mass by uh, acceleration due to gravity now on the earth now see if uh, now say you are given a body with the mass 6 kilograms let us calculate its weight w equals mg mg m means 60 g is acceleration of gravity 10 meters per second per second therefore weight is equal to 600 newtons now if it is now actually this is on the earth if it is on the moon now let us try to calculate the weight of this body uh, if it is on the moon then acceleration due to gravity on the moon is one sixth of this note therefore one sixth of ten therefore this is equal to hundred newtons so that is on the moon in the last tape also actually a question was given like this so therefore this is a very very important this is a very important or you can get it like this now say weight of the body on the earth is 600 newtons weight of that weight of that body on the moon is one sixth of this now 100 newton so that can be calculated easy in this board by this both ways now force has a magnitude and also a direction so therefore uh, the quantity force is a vector quantity vector means you have not only a magnitude the value not only the value of magnitude you have a direction also velocity velocity force uh, displacement all these are vector quantities 
these quantities have a direction in addition to the magnitude. Uh, so they are known as actually vectors. Now there are some quantities, so they don't have a direction. Speed, uh, distance, volume, mass. So actually, so these are not vector quantities, they are scalar. They are scalar quantities. They are scalar. They don't have a direction, they have only the magnitude. Now, actually, from this revision video series, from our next video, we will, uh, you will learn about work done, work and energy from our next video. Thank you. Uh, please uh, subscribe all these. When you subscribe all these, so uh, you can easily know what is your next actually uh, video is.